Welcome to Mooney Reads. My name is Beck, and today I'm going to be talking about my reading plans for the month of February. Specifically, I'm going to be talking about the Rent Readathon and the Blackathon. In one of my videos earlier this year, I talked about the fact that I didn't really want to have that many strict um, monthly TBRs, and that is true, but I have certain readathons that I definitely do want to plan for, and both the Rent Readathon and the Blackathon are definitely ones that I need TBRs for, or would like TBRs for. Plus, February is my birthday month, so I get to do what I want. Before I get into my TBR, I do have an announcement for the Rent Readathon. Throughout February, Kathy and I are going to be doing reading sprints over on Kathy's channel. We will be doing them on February the 5th, the 10th, and the 24th. Uh, and those are going to be at 6 p.m. Pacific Time, 8 p.m. Central Time. So be sure to definitely check those out and read a little bit with us. So far as the Rent Readathon is concerned, I'm not picking a specific team. I would like to actually cover all of the characters by the end of the month. Not necessarily one per book, but I do want all of them to be represented in what I'm reading. And with the Blackathon, I'm going to be on team literature or contemporary nonfiction. I'm going to start out with the book that I'm going to read. If I read nothing else this month, I'm going to read this book. And that is Dear Centron by Akweke Mezi. I actually started reading this book last year, fairly soon after it came out, I think. And my brain was just not in a position to really compute all of it. I was having a really hard time with really like pretty um intricate writing and that's exactly what this is this book is fucking beautiful and now that my mind is not like that i can actually read it um and so i will be finishing this in february so this is going to fit for prop number three of the blackathon um a book with neon on the cover i don't really know specifically what neon is supposed to be like i'm sure that people have actual stipulations but this looks like a bright yellow to me and like a bright pink, so I'm calling it neon. So far as the Rent Readathon is concerned, this fits for Mark because this is a memoir. It also fits for Angel because this has trans representation, and I would say that it does center love. This is written in epistolary format to different people in their life. Um, so I don't know everything that's going to be happening thematically, but the fact that they're focused on other people, I think that some of it might fit that vibe. Um, and then it also fits Collins because a quick game as he is a queer person of color. Next, I'm going to talk a little bit about the poetry that I would like to get to this month. Particularly, I, th I think I'm going to be feeling in the mood for it, especially after reading Dear Centron, just because the way that they write is so just beautiful. I think I'm going to be in the mood for more poetry. So there are a few that I'd like to get to. One that I would like to get to is my read uh, from my Kindle, and that is going to be Felons by Reginald Dwayne Betts. I continually forget about this poem, or about this poem collection, despite the fact that it's been on several TVRs because it's on my Kindle and I forget that it exists. I'm going to aim not to do that this time. Uh, I read Bastards of the Reagan Era uh, in... I think actually in uh, February of 2020, and loved it. Um, it was really incredible the way that he was able to weave in references to pop culture as well as pre references to um, like the classics, and there was a lot going on that was just really great. So I'm super excited for this one. And so far as uh, the readathons go, it fits the rent readathon because it is poetry, so it would fit for Maureen. Joanne because it's nonfiction, um, and Mark because this is bi autobiographical poetry. So I think all of these poem collections are going to fit for three prompts. And Felon would also fit for Joanne, um, I guess doubly because it's centering law. Another poetry collection that I intend to read is Poems by um, Maya Angelou. I actually have already read this one. I read it January of 2019. It's been a while. I think it's time for a revisit, so that's hopefully what I will be doing. And this is going to fit the same three prompts as the last book. 
Mark, Maureen, and Joanne. I would also like to read The Man with the Night Sweat Sweats by Tom Gunn. This is a poetry collection about dealing with HIV and AIDS. I don't know very much beyond that. I think I got this rec from Jen the Librarian. This is technically on my HIV and AIDS TBR, so I'd really like to get to it. So this also covers Mark, Maureen, and Joanne, but also Mimi because it centers HIV and or AIDS. Another poetry collection I would like to get to is for black trans girls who got a custom motherfucker out when snatching an edge ain't enough by Dane Figura Edidi. Um, and this, I think I only just got it last year, but it has been on my mind for a really long time. I want to say in like 2019, I listened to this author on a podcast. She spoke during the podcast, but also read some of the poetry and it stuck with me ever since. It is independently published and finally found where to get it. Uh, so I'm really stoked about this one. Um, it fits obviously for Mark, Maureen, and Joanne, but also Angel because there is trans representation and Collins because the author is a queer person of color. Then the final poetry collection that I have in this list is I Am the Rage by Dr. Martina McGowan. I don't really know a whole lot about this. I feel like I saw it on a couple of lists and that's one of the reasons that I like wanted to get that I wanted to get it. Um, also the fragment or the uh, I don't know if it's a piece of a poem or a whole poem, but the bit on the back also made me really want to get it. Um, and this is about her experience as a black woman. That's about the extent that I know. Um, I believe that it also fits the Blackathon prompt for a book with neon on the cover because the yellow and pink are very bright. This also fits Mark, Maureen, and Joanne. Now, in an ideal world, I would read all of those poems. Tentatively, I'm saying that those are the possible things that I could read. Ideally, I'll read all of them, but uh, this is definitely more of a pile of possibility sort of situation. Next, I have a couple of nonfiction books that I'd like to get to. There's definitely other stuff that I'd like to work on um, that I don't plan on finishing, so I didn't want to talk about at length too much. Obviously, I'll be, list I'll be working a little bit on Let the Record Show perfect for the rent readathon because it's set in New York, centering HIV and AIDS, looking at an organization that's literally mentioned in the show. Definitely not something I'm going to finish, is something I'm going to start. Other nonfiction that I would like to focus on a little bit more, I have All About Love by Bell Hooks. And rather than explaining this exactly, I think I'm just going to read bits from the back. The word love is most often defined as a noun, yet would we all love better if we used it as a verb? Writes Bell Hooks as she comes out fighting and on fire and all about love. Here, at her most provocative and intensely personal, the renowned scholar, cultural critic, and feminist skewers our view of love as romance. In its place, she offers a proactive new ethic for people and a society bereft with lovelessness. So, that sounds really great. Uh, also, love is, like, perfect. It's, like, I don't really subscribe to Valentine's Day. I think you should tell people that you love them all the time, but tis the season, I guess. Uh, so, this would definitely work for Joanne, because this is nonfiction, and Angel, because it centers romance um, or another sort of love. And I haven't read it, so I have a really hard time saying... Um, what all else it'll fit? I'm wondering, like, well, the first prompt for the Blackathon is the duality of blood and found family. I had a hard time really knowing how specific that was, but I wonder if this will do something surrounding that because it's just looking at love in more complex ways. So it may or may not fit that. Then the next book I definitely want to start. I'm not 100% on if I'm going to finish it. I'm definitely going to start it, though. And that is Black Skin, White Mask by Friends Fanon. This is a look at race in 1950s um, Francophone society. This is a study that he did during the time. So this is going to fit in the Blackathon for something that is not set in the U.S., U.K., or Canada. 
It is also going to fit the Rent Readathon because it is a uh, nonfiction, so it would fit Joanne. And both this and All About Love would also fit Collins because they're going to teach me something. So after this, I have fiction. And there's a lot going on in my brain about fiction because I've picked up uh, listening to audiobooks. And I never really know what that's going to look like because it's going to depend on like what's available, particularly with Libby. And I think I mood read those even more aggressively <laughs> than regular books, which is saying something if you look at all of the books that I have yet to finish. But I have a little stack of things that I might read. This is definitely... I would like to get to all four of these, but if I don't, we're not going to beat myself, I'm not going to beat myself up over it. So first is one that I'm pretty positive I'm going to be able to get to, and that is Rise to the Sun by Leah Johnson. This, like Dear Centron, is one that I started last year. Again, reading slump made my brain not work. Now I'm going to get to it. I'm likely going to listen to this on audiobook because I figured out that it was available on Hoopla. Um, so that's why I think I'm going to be able to read it. Or one, one of the reasons why I think so. And it's also, like, I started to read it and it looks like it's going to be very cute. This is a romance. Um, you go back and forth between perspectives of each of these girls. I think one is bi and one is lesbian. Now, I did see people put trigger warnings for gun violence, which makes me concerned because I don't really want this to be sad. I've heard nothing but great things about Leah Johnson, so I'm sure it's going to be great regardless. Um, but anyways, this should be good. I think it would technically fit the Blackathon for the same prompts <laughs> that I keep having them for, but this is really bright yellow. I think it's neon. Or maybe yellow is just bright. We'll go with it. Um, this is also going to fit for the Rent Readathon because of Roger. It's definitely a contemporary and it's set during a music festival, so I think it would fit about music. It also fits Maureen and Joanne, I think, because of the bi and lesbian rep. Angel, because there's a romance at the center of this. Collins, because they're both um, queer people of color. Now, the next book that I have is the one that I know least about and am least sure that I'm going to get to, but this is, uh, Black Girls Must Die Exhausted. It is the group read for Team Contemporary for the Blackathon, and, um, this, like the team name, it's a contemporary. Um, I have heard very little about it. From my understanding, the main character has a lot of plans in mind, is very ambitious, but some of the plans that you have end up coming at odds with, with each other. Um, so that's this one. Um, and I managed to grab, I, I work at a bookstore and this arc has been sitting on the shelf in the break room for a hot minute. So I got lucky that I was accessible to me. So far as the Rent Readathon goes, it also fits for Roger because it's a contemporary. And I think that might be the only one that it fits, um, or I won't know until I read it if it fits any of the others. The next novel that I have that I would really like to get to is If Beale Street Could Talk by James Baldwin. This is a classic. Um, this is a classic. Uh, but I honestly don't know that much about it. I know, generally speaking, uh, it focuses in on a couple. I think the man gets falsely accused of a crime. I haven't actually read any of James Baldwin's fiction before. The only book by him that I've read is The Fire, the Fire Next Time. Um, so I am fixing that. So far as the readathons go, it fits the Rent Readathon because it's associated with a film because uh, they made a film of it, and when I'm done reading it, I would like to watch the film. It also works for potentially Joanne if it's centered around somebody falsely accused, because crime, crime would be involved in that. Um, and it centers a romance, so it would also fit for Angel. And it fits for Jonathan Larson, because it is set in New York. Then the final book that I would 
like to potentially get to in February is going to be Disobedience by Naomi Alderman. This focuses on a couple. I think from what I've gathered, the main character is um, dealing with the grief of losing her estranged father, um, who is also a rabbi, and I think they kind of like discuss uh, Jewish identity in here too. I'm not really sure to what degree, um, but I'm going to find out. So this fits um, Mark because it's a book associated with the film. Like with If Real Street Could Talk, if I read Disobedience this month, I will also be watching the movie. Um, and it also has a Jewish protagonist. This, I've seen posited as a lesbian romance, so it probably fits Joanne if that's accurate. I don't know if they say that specifically in here or not. It would also fit Angel as well, um, because it centers romance or another type of love. There's a romance in here for sure. And also, I think when things are centering grief, in a lot of cases, that is centering love or an aspect of love, even if it's a really complicated or painful one. Um, so I think that aspect could potentially make it fit as well. And uh, I think it's set in New York. At the very least, the main character is from Manhattan. Um, so it would fit Jonathan Larson um, to that extent if it's mostly set in Manhattan. So that is what my reading is going to look like for February, hopefully. In the comments, let Remy know what you're reading for the Rent Readathon or anything else in February. And let me know if you've read anything in my TBR. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye.